So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find out the sample rate to your session before loading your session. Now, you might be wondering why would I want to do that? If you're a Pro Tools user, you're using a third party interface, you might have experienced some of these behaviors. You load your session, the playhead won't move, Pro Tools locks, it freezes, and the only way to quit, either you reset your computer or you open the third party mixer and you change your buffer size and Pro Tools quits. And the reason that's happening is because you're using a third party interface. I always had DigiDesign, Avid Hardware, or M Audio Hardware. Never had to really deal with any problems like this. Recently, I picked up a Focusrite interface and all my problems began when I got this unit. Now, it's a great unit. It sounds great and everything. I don't know, it just drove me crazy. So after some investigation, I found out it was the sample rate. I have to set my sample rate before I even load the session. And you know what? It kind of sucks, but I'm used to it already. And the easiest way to avoid this whole thing would be to just open the text editor, fill out the information, save it. So before you open your session, you know the sample rate. But if you're like me and you have a whole bunch of sessions that you did with previous hardware and you have no idea what the sample rate is, I'm going to show you how to find that. So let's get right into it. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. The first way, open Pro Tools and navigate to the Windows tab here. Go to a uh, new workspace. Let me maximize that. Locate your hard drive, the hard drive you have your sessions on. I have mine on D, also my apps drive. Open that. And I'm going to locate a session here, full session. Click the drop down. And over here are your uh, PTX files. Those are the files you would double click to uh, load your session. You want to navigate all the way to the right and check it out. Sample rate. Pretty neat. So we're seeing the sample rate to the session without even opening it. The way I used to do it, I would load the session. You press control two and it will tell you all the information on your session. But I can't do that with the new interface because Pro Tools will freeze. So that command is kind of pointless. But if everything's working and you want to know your session, control two gives you all your, all your information. So as you can see, you get your format, your sample rate, your bit, your tempo, and so on. There's a lot of things you can find here. There's more information, but that's one way to do this. We're going to use a piece of software that's going to find out the sample rate to an audio file. So if we open the web browser, we're looking at this program called Media Info. This program deserves its own video. There's a lot going on within this program, so let's minimize this. So now I'm going to open up that folder, full session, the one I showed you earlier, and we're going to go into the audio files. Once we go into the audio files, you want to right click any other audio files there and you're going to see media info click that so as you can see first audio stream it's going to give you some information but what we're really focusing on is the sample rate check it out 48k you also have this view tab you have a lot more options here but i like everything in tree you can see everything a lot clearer so you have your general tab you got some information here which i'm not going to uh really get into it but look at this it tells you pro tools it shows you that it's a wave file and it gives you your bit it gives you your sample rate pretty nice so that's how you find your sample rate now this program deserves its own video i'm pretty sure if you go to youtube you'll find out some more information on this if you want to do that there's going to be a link in the description you can download this it's completely free go try it out and let me know what you guys think if you want to avoid doing all of this Whenever you create a new session, just open a text, type all your information there and save it in the root directory of your session. And that's it. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Ray. If you have any questions, post in the bottom. Like always, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm out of here. Later, guys. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? This is Ray. Today, we're going to look at Pro C2 Compressor by FabFilter. I've been using this compressor for a while. And this compressor is pretty neat. Now, the first thing is going to have his normal controls like.